Okay, so this is um, loosely based on Catwoman. Um, as you can see, it's a very sharp line, um, really sort of cat eye shape, Arabian, really beautiful look. Um, I'm going to try and start a Batman series just because if you guys have watched you know, my previous videos or if you know me in person, um, you know that I really like Batman. And um, I was originally going to do this when the movie had first came out, but since that poor mishap um, happened at the premiere, I just decided that I'd give it a little bit of time. Um, you know, God bless the families and stuff, and this is kind of like a, a dedication to those families. You know, I'm so sorry that that happened. Um, may God be with all of you. And um, also just a series of the Batman um, movie. So this is loosely based on Catwoman with the very feline features. Um, I already put on my eyeshadow primer. I used the Urban Decay um, original one, the purple one. Um, now I'm just going to take a flat shader brush and I'm going to put Sidecar, which is this really glittery, bronzy color, um, all over the lid. And you want to apply pretty heavy amount of this actually. You want it really opaque. And then you're going to want to put a little bit on the inner corner right here. Okay, now you're going to take a little piece of scotch tape. This one's just the one that I used from the other eye. And just place that on the side where you want the dark colors to be. And I'm just going to take an angled fluffy brush and dip it into Dark Horse, which is this really dark chocolate brown with a little bit of uh, metallic flakes in it. And I'm just going to basically sweep this a little past my eyebrow and a little onto the eyelid, just kind of blending those two colors. And I'm also going to do it under. And um, after we take off the tape, there may be like a little square there, but you could always fix that. And then you're going to take whatever's left of that sidecar and just blend it into that bottom with Dark Horse. Alrighty, now since the top is kind of harsh, you're going to want to take a flat brush like this and dip it into a reddish brown color, which is Buck, right here. And I'm just going to do that in this little corner and then also above where I placed Dark Horse because I really want that to be an even gradient. Next with a flat shader brush, this one's just the one that came in the palette. Um, I'm just going to pick up a little bit of Virgin, which is this really light eggshell color that's a little shimmery. And I'm going to place this really heavily under my brows and then blend that into Buck. Do I say Buck funny? I feel like I do. Buck. Sounds a little bit like Duck. I know I say Duck funny. Alrighty, now I'm going to take off this tape, and as you can see, there is that little, little square there. So you're just going to take your angled brush again, and whatever was left of that uh, dark color, you're going to want to just blend those two together in that little corner right there. Alrighty, now I'm going to be taking a chocolate eyeliner. Um, my favorite one is the Wet n Wild one. I'm not really sure what it's called, but it's one of their darker brown. And I'm just gonna color this outer corner and make it fade into that color. So I'm making it really dark here, but then dragging it out here so that it blends with that. And you don't want to go all the way in, you want to stop where your lashes stop thickening, which is about right here. So leave this empty, color that in. Also, you're going to want to put on a lot of mascara. Um, this one is the Beauty Rush Mascara from Victoria's Secret. 
and you're going to want to apply a pretty good amount of this also in the bottoms as well and if you want you can stop here I'm going to go ahead and take this step one bit further and put some fake lashes and these are just some that I got from the mall they are really short at the tips and then they're really long towards the ends I don't know if you can see that there you go and they're really pretty so I'm just gonna apply these to my eyes with duo lash adhesive in dark tones since this is a darker look I guess I'm just gonna take a little bit of that glue Ooh, that's not a little bit, but whatever. And you're just going to wait for this to get tacky. While that's getting tacky, you can go ahead and put on your second coat. And um, I'm just going to tell you what I did for the rest of my face. So... I just contoured really heavily um, on my cheeks a little bit. I kind of dusted out my temples. I didn't want too much in this eye area, so I didn't really do too much there. Um, and then I did under my chin, and then I highlighted my nose and my cupid's bow and my cheeks and then the center of my forehead. And then for lips, I just used the Revlon Lip Butter in um, Creamsicle, and that one's really good. It's one of my favorites. So now with the fake lash, if you're using a half set, you just want to put it on the outers. If you're using a full set, you want to put it just where you put the eyeliner. So don't put it really close. Put it more towards the end. So it can help with that feline shape that we're trying to achieve. And there you go. The look is done. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And um, I'm not sure what Batman character I'm going to do next. It's probably going to be Batman. But just so you know, um... Uh, so yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.